Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Terilyn. I'm an empath and psychic and today's video is going to be the start of a brand new series here on the channel. So my goal with this channel is to help you guys tap into your intuition and also learn different divination tools. And so I thought a perfect way to learn tarot some more would be to look at popular TV shows and look at when they have tarot readings and see how accurately they interpret the cards. And so to start off, I'm going to be using the show Dynasty. So in one of the episodes, Alexis, the mother, gets a reading from the site. And so it looks like she's using a version of the Celtic Cross. And so I took a screenshot of the card she used and I was able to track down the deck. And so it's the Medieval Scapini Tarot. And so what I did, I don't have that deck with me, but I was able to match up the cards. And so I'm using the traditional Rider White Smith deck. And so she has the Six of Cups with the Two of Cups over it. And then she has the Queen of Cups, the Emperor, the Hierophant, and the Death card. Now in the deck that they used on the show, the Hierophant is actually called the Pope. And so now I'm going to go ahead and play the clip from the episodes and I'll let you guys know if I think those interpretations of the cards are accurate. Two of Cups over the Six of Cups. I like this very much. And why do you like it? A man. An old friend. Well, he's more than that. He's uh, my ex-husband. I see here you still want him very much. Yes. Go on. He too is, is full of passion, but... No fulfillment. Is, is that possible? Well, we did share passion, if that's what you mean. Okay, so as you guys just saw, she starts off with the Six of Cups with the Two of Cups over it. Now, this is actually really accurate because in the show, Alexis is hung up on her ex-husband. And so the Six of Cups, if I take the Two of Cups off of it for a minute, if we look at it, it is really about memories, fondness, reminiscing about the past and wanting things from the past. It's really a card that represents remembrance. And so typically, if we are thinking that this is a Celtic cross, the situation is the first card that we pull in. So it kind of tells us a little bit about what the querent is wanting to know about and their deepest inner thoughts. And then to clarify that with typically the block or something to give us more insight into this situation, we have the two of cups over it. So this is really showing us that yes, it is in fact about love. It's about a romantic situation that the person is thinking about that they can't let go of. And so it's really holding on to a good time, a good memory from this relationship. Or it can also mean that someone is holding out for a relationship where they are really wanting something that they have pictured in their head. And that is very true if we look at the context of the show. Alexis is very hung up on her ex-husband. Queen of Cups, see? Very wise, very calm, very sensitive woman, very connected to this man. And so now the psychic just pulled the Queen of Cups. And so to me, I would interpret this as more clarification, and this could be in the past position. I'm not sure if that's exactly clear, because um, the way that she lays out the cards in the reading, she never shows pulling the Emperor card. She just goes from the Queen of Cups to the Hierophant card. So what I'm thinking is that maybe instead of a past situation, she's more clarifying the energy where she's getting the Queen of Cups for Alexis and the Emperor for her ex-husband. That's how I would kind of interpret the card if I was doing someone's reading like this. Um, another way to look at it is even if the Queen of Cups is the past and the Emperor is the current situation, um, that could be it. And then the Emperor and the Death card are the future situations. Um, and so with that being said, the Queen of Cups is typically someone where they are very intuitive. They could have psychic abilities themselves. Um, but it's really representing a woman who could be a water sign. Um, but it represents a want for romance, a want for love, a caring, um, having an open heart and so if we're viewing this in the context of Alexis right now she is wanting to be that Queen of Cups energy she is wanting to have a relationship with her ex-husband um, and so it really makes sense that we would be getting that energy of the Queen of Cups with this situation that we are reading about and then the Emperor really represents Blake which is her ex-husband because first off the show is called Dynasty and so if we're looking at the positions of power in this family then Blake really would be the Emperor so really you are clarifying a woman with the Emperor. That is both Alexis and Blake. But if we're looking at it from a past-present type situation, then the Queen of Cups represents that Alexis 
she was with Blake. They were happy. They were married. They were in a relationship where it was working. But then that fell apart and now she is kind of obsessed with him where she is acting almost like an emperor where she is trying to control things, where she's trying to be ahead. And so she went from this nurturing energy to this more calculated energy, especially in terms of this relationship and their dynamics. And so both of these fit for the context of the show, even with the different positions and the different way to see this. He's going to ask you to marry him. And then as you guys saw, they asked the cards what comes next. And that's when she got the Hierophant card, or in the context of the show, it was the Pope card. Now this is where I see how they got marriage from this card. I personally would have used a different card in this reading if I'm trying to do it on a television level, because I feel like something more like the Lover's card or something like that would have made it more understanding for a viewer who doesn't know anything about tarot. Um, the Hierophant typically is depicted as a priest. And typically within marriage, there's a higher power or a priest or something symbolic of that nature who is marrying the two unions together. And so I definitely agree that you can get a relationship marriage energy from the Hierophant. I think that it's kind of one that you really have to know about tarot for you to understand that. And so while I do agree that the Emperor can represent a marriage or a future relationship, I think that they could have used a more fitting card like the Lovers for this position. Um, because typically when I think of the Hierophant, it's less about marriage and more about structure and having a certain past, certain status quo that has already been presented and a continuation of that pattern. Um, to me, it seems like it's more of a rigid card. So yes, because it is typically depicted as a priest or in the case of the show as the Pope, it can mean that someone is marrying two unions together. I think that it would have made more sense if they picked another card that was a little bit more mainstream um, because personally, if I was doing a reading with these cards, if I was downloaded the message of marriage, then yes, that is something I could get. So it's not saying that you can never get marriage from this card, but it wouldn't be the first thing I think about. The first thing I think about, if I had all these cards laid out in front of me, I would kind of see it as someone wanting to bring back a past relationship, this being the current energy where you have these two very strong energies and what they want and trying to have control. And so the Hierophant to me would kind of be saying that there is is not really going to be a shift in this dynamic, that there's still going to be a fight for the control, um, a really strong emperor energy coming out of this, where it really feels like patterns are going to continue. And then if I did get this death card after that, I would say that there is a continuation of this patterns until eventually they break. He will expire. What do you mean expire? He will expire. Like death. And so now we just saw she pulled the death card. Now this makes a lot of sense in the context of mainstream media. They like to use the death card to really have a lot of fear and especially in a show like this it's really full of drama so it makes sense that they would want to scare the audience. Um, what I would say for those of you who are trying to learn tarot, majority of the time when you get the death card it does not mean literal death. Death just means a change, and so it means a change in the energy. And so if I was personally doing this reading for someone, unless I was downloaded that it was actually talking about death, I would see it as a union between the two if I took this to be a relationship and union, and I would say that it's not going to last. The death card means that this is going to fall apart, it's not going to work, it's going to be very short-lived. And my guess for that would be that this pattern that we are stuck on right here is not going to change, and so even though you are coming together, you still have these inner issues that you have worked out and that is going to cause a relationship to fail. But in the context of the show, it makes sense that they would want to use the death card to represent literal death. Um, and now spoilers for the show, I don't believe that the ex-husband actually dies, so I think this was more a plot device. Um, but if I was reading this just for a person, like I said, unless I was actually getting death, which you can, but in this case of the show, because he doesn't die, I don't believe it's talking about literal death. And so that's where the psychic was wrong with her predictions about this. Um, it really to me is saying that there is going to be a change in his life and in Alexis's life um, and so I really feel like that's because the patterns eventually something's got to give something's going to fall apart and so for the show I think that when it comes to their tarot readings in it they actually did a fairly decent job I'm assuming because they use the Hierophant card that they actually had someone who did some research into tarot readings or they know someone who does tarot readings and they actually asked them for different cards that could represent different things and that's why they didn't choose to only use the mainstream cards and I actually give them a lot of respect for that. Really the most mainstream card they used was the death card and that's to kind of be assumed when it comes to TV that they are going to go for the most dramatic readings um, and so that actually
actually makes a lot of sense, but I really think that they did a good job um, depicting it. I think if someone didn't really know about tarot cards, they would understand it. And so I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and that it gave you a little bit of an explanation for the cards and helped you guys see different perspectives of cards when they are with one another and how they read so that it helps you with your own readings. And let me know if there's any other shows that you saw tarot readings in that you want me to kind of break down. I think this is going to be a really interesting series and I think it's going to be really insightful, especially because now we're relating the cards to things that we could like and have a lot of interest in. I think it makes it a whole lot easier to understand something when you relate to it. So definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it and share this video with others. It really helps out my channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys aren't already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you guys a part of this family. I post two times a week and I post more educational videos like this. I also post unboxings of different tarot decks. I also do readings. So that's pick up how readings, collective readings, and zodiac readings. And so turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video. I'm sending you all so much love and light as you go on your own spiritual journeys. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.